morning. I'd like to welcome you to our Eucharistic celebration. <coughs> Maybe today we can place our country in the hands of God, especially the stalemate that is causing this uh, mandamano. Yesterday I couldn't help but thinking that Nairobi looks like it is on the 31st or the 1st of January. It was not even like a weekend or on a Wednesday. I know we all feel the seriousness of this, but there are some who feel it more acutely, who depend on a daily wage for food, for rent, for many things. So we pray for our country and especially for those who are feeling the brunt of this, and we place it in the hands of God. We place our leadership in the hands of God with full trust and confidence. Together with all our other intentions, those who have asked us to pray for them and those we have promised to pray for. As for me, in justice, I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pause for a moment. The Lord invites us, says, Come all you who labor and are burdened. Let us pause for a moment to come to our Lord, labored and burdened as we are, and he will give us rest, and he will receive us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth, to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. I am who I am. I am has sent me to you. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, hearing the voice of the Lord out of the midst of the bush, Moses said to God, If I come to the sons of Israel and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, say this to the sons of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Mm -mm. God also said to Moses, Say this to the sons of Israel, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, throughout all generations. 
go and gather the elders of Israel together and say to them, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob has appeared to me saying, I have observed you and what has been done to you in Egypt, and I promise that I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt to the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hevites, and the Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. And they will listen to your voice, and you and the elders of Israel shall go to the king of Egypt and say to him, the Lord, the God of the Hebrews has met with us. And now we beg you, let us go a three days journey into the wilderness that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless compelled by a mighty hand. So I will stretch out my hand and strike Egypt with all the wonders which I will do in it. After that, he will let you go. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord. Proclaim his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Remember the wonders he has done, his marvels and his words of judgment. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Remember the wonders, his covenant forever. He remembers his covenant forever, the promise he ordained for a thousand generations the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he saw to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He gave his people great increase. He made them stronger than their foes, whose hearts he turned to hate his people and to deal deceitfully with his servants. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Then he sent Moses, his servant, and Aaron, whom he had chosen. They performed God's signs among them and his wonders in the land of Ham. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Gospel acclamation. and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus declared, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 
take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. I have often um, had some of my friends, especially those among the young people, uh, say to each other, maybe even say to me, Father, when you do jokes, when you do jokes, and often when they say that, it is after they have said something, and the other one has taken it too seriously. So they say something like, um, "Ukijua hiyo answer, takupatia thau." So they they are confident you cannot know that, and then you answer right. Then now it is time to pay up. There are 1,000 shillings. And then they are like, Where, Father, why do you do jokes? Why do you do jokes, Where, Father? Or they have said something that was a bit soft, and then you have taken it more seriously. They were joking. Yeah. Same. You just pop in somewhere and you find them on a bigger story. <laughs> you know, say, Mom, Where? You see, Kukajaba Kalishika. And you ask them, huh? what did you say? say ah, Father, when you do jokes, it was jokes, it jokes too. You know, in those kind of situations. And Jesus wasn't joking, wasn't uh, saying things just for the sake to say, uh, invite us to come to him, to learn from him, to come labored and heavily burdened and with the promise that we shall find rest for our souls. In fact, he declared, he, it was a declaration, he declared, and then my yoke is easy and my burden light. Sometimes it doesn't seem that way, but he wasn't joking. It was for real. Theologians have proposed that the reason why his burden is easy, his yoke is easy, because it is a yoke. A yoke, a yoke is something that talks of slavery. So at a deeper level, those who used to um, work with farm animals in tilling their land, knowing the yoke, there was a contradiction there. How can a yoke be easy? How can a burden be light? But he means especially and exactly that. And some theologians have said it is because it is the yoke and the burden of love. Yokes and burdens of love are never too hard. Knowing that we are loved 100% the other side, that is one. And also loving back in return. That is why a mother will run into a burning house to save a child because of the yoke and the burden of love. Easily, without even a thought. And all her life, not regret her burns and her scars. That is why in Ephesians, there is that understanding of submission because the love that the husband shows makes it easy for the wife to submit. That is why um, people will do very, 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 very hard things because of the one that they love. Number two is because of the one who is speaking. In fact, far from being jokes, the one who is speaking is also the one, and the first reading can help us understand who is speaking. He's also the one who came up or who said, the seven I am statements of Jesus. Um, Jesus at certain points in his ministry said certain I am statements and in total there are seven. Like for example he said I am Atedo. 
I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the door. I am the good shepherd. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And he also said, I am the vine. And the reason why the Jews were becoming so mad, when Jesus would speak that way, they would become so mad. And there is a, the, there is a theologian, some theologians, they, they think, they, 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 they try to, to, to say, why did God conflict? Why did Satan disagree with God? One of the theories says that it was when God decided that he's going to become man, to be incarnated. Happened to your Shetani Alizema Zaza, this is madness. I cannot believe, I cannot be friends, I cannot stay with such a God again. So he, because of God is crazy in love with us. When Satan heard that God is going to move from that and be incarnated be way below the angels, he couldn't accept that kind of a love. It was foolishness. And so he disagreed with that's a theory. The theory is it, it may not, but it shows the greatness of the incarnation. The one who is talking refers to himself as I am Jesus. And philosophers and theologians have tried to find a better name for God, and there has been none. A better name for God, the, the best name for God. And the Jews had so many Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Rapha. Je they had so many names for God. But by far, the most fitting, philosophically, theologically, is the name I am, the name that God gave himself in Exodus. I am who I am. Because all these other names, they capture one attribute of God. For example, even in our cultures, Mogai, the one who distributes, but it leaves out so many other attributes. Um, Almighty, but it leaves so many other attributes. But I am captures his essence, not just of the past, not just of the future, but his essence as he is in wholesome. I am who I am. And then last of all, maybe what I would want to say, there is this um, comparison that is made, that it, it depends in whose hands. It depends in whose hands. And he says, a basketball in my hands is only worth $20, $25. But a basketball in the number one basketball player right now is worth about $75 million. A baseball in my hands would be worth about $10, even in the supermarket. But a baseball in the number one baseball player is worth millions of dollars. It says, a rod in my hands will keep away animals. A rod in the hand of a teacher will scare a few students, but not a parent. It depends in whose hands. A slingshot in my hand was a kid's toy. A slingshot in David, who was in God's hand, was a mighty weapon. Two fish and five loaves of bread in my hands is a couple of fish and sandwiches. Two fish and loaves in the hands of Jesus fed 5,000 people and had a leftover. Our troubles, our burdens in the hands of God, in the hands of the great I am, really are almost like nothing. And then friendship grows by self-revelation, by level of comfort. Let us be comfortable enough, friends enough with Jesus to know how much he really loves us and to be comfortable to go to him with our burdens, with our heavy loads. And then being in his hands, we are safer than in any other hands. To save Jesus Christ. Number three 
Friends, that is my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring an ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord the Lord be with you lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just our duty our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father mighty and eternal God for in goodness you created man and when he was justly condemned in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when suppose ended he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the cup of blessing, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your charge spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Agnolo, Archbishop, David is auxiliary, John, 
our Emeritus of Bishop and all the clergy. I remember your servant, Teresa, mom to Father Mukua, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also now be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, spouse of that Virgin, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Glorious Martyrs, with St. Paul, with St. Padre Pio, St. John Potu, St. Francis, um, with Servant of God, Maurice Cardinal Tunga, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. And now, placing our, ourselves in the hands of the Almighty One, of the great I Am, for ourselves and for those for whom we offer this Mass for our country, we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. A graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the friends, the Lamb of God. Behold him who is our comforter, our strength, in all our burdens and our heavy loads. He take away our sin and the sin of the world, and happy are we who are called to this supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Number 420, number 420, this only one, page 137. Laudi 
Panis tema specialis, panis vivus et vitalis. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We pause for a moment. Maybe just entrusting to the Lord in a more special way, the one who has come to us in the Eucharist, our all, in a special way, our country. The sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her young. By your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they who dwell in your house, forever they sing your praises. Let us pray. Having consumed these great gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in these mysteries, they are saving effects upon us and in us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to thank all of you for your participation in this Mass, for coming to Mass even with the Mandamano. I want to thank those of the online community. Um, let's continue to pray. And even today may be a day to count our blessings. If you can afford a day without work and have a plate, have rent and so forth, that's a greater blessing than a, a significant percent of our population can't. Number two, if you would want to find out that uh, Jesus can truly carry our burdens, there is the proof. He was shamed more than anyone because of us. He will carry the greatest pain, even death, because of all of us. So when he says, come to me, he see jokes, whom say I serious, I'm to God. 
the Lord be with you. And may the blessings of Almighty God come down on you and remain with you always of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love, to serve. Our Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Wishing all of you an amazing day. The same to your Father. Page 187. Page 187. Number 555. Name I in the